hey guys welcome to yrr help uh, today i'm going to be showing you how to parse an xml file in arcal uh, so there are multiple ways to parse an xml and in this video i'm going to show you two different ways one is extract value and xml table and at the end of the video i'm going to show you when to use extract value and when to use xml table so uh, i'm going to use this xml as my reference oh, so it has one root element as students and under that i have student and an attribute and two different sub elements so i have already stored this xml in my uh, temp table which is uh, which is under message column so under my message column i have this xml stored so extract value so it's going to take two parameters the first one is source uh, source means where your XML is stored and in the, in this uh, so in this scenario I have XML in message column the thing is that message is a is a cloud data type here so in order to use this message XML in my extract value I have to pass it as an XML type so uh, extract type it's it's going to only take XML type as a source so quickly I'm going to convert this XML Sorry, I'm going to convert this club into XML type data type. So I have my XML and XML type data type now. If you already have a XML and XML type, then you don't need to worry about conversion. Just in case if your message is in, in varchar or any club, we have to convert to XML type. And let me just bring it to here. So this is my first parameter to extract. And the second parameter is you obviously have to specify which value you want to extract. So suppose if I want to extract this name here, I, I have to specify, I'm going to specify absolute path here. So which is actually students and under that I have student. And under that I'm going to extract name value. right let me run this one yeah I got that <coughs> so let me just quickly name it as uh, name and if you want to extract marks it's it's very simple the thing is that guys extract value can return only single value it cannot return multiple values so whatever the value it's coming from extract value it's going to treat as a single column so I, I'm just going to quickly change the marks. Oops. So let me just name it as name and the second one as marks. So it should be fine. Yeah, there you go. And if you notice here, I have attribute also. So uh, if you want to extract attribute value, you can just use other rate of attribute so I instead of directly specifying the, the element name you you're just gonna have to specify other rate and then your attribute name yeah it's fine so I have uh, my ID name and my marks so uh, so instead of specifying uh, absolute path you can just specify relative path also like this and the thing is when you are specifying relative path you just have to use this double slash instead of single slash <coughs> yes. yeah there you go and uh, one more thing to remember is guys as i said before it's, it's going to take only it's going to return only single column so just in case if it if it if it tries to return multiple columns like this it, it, it won't work so if I try to return entire student element here it, it, it's not gonna work because as I said it's gonna return a single element so let me just quickly go back through name and another thing is that uh, if you have an extra row here like, I mean extra student and if you try let me just insert into my temp table let me just insert under row here and I'm going to change elements so 
so I have an XML file now with uh, two students and if I try to run the same query it's not gonna work the thing is that as I said before uh, it can return only a single column now it's trying to fetch the name value from this XML file and it's filing because it has two names and it, it, it don't know which name to fetch so it's, it's just gonna file so it, how to handle this scenario it's very simple you just have to specify okay let me just fetch the first name alone ignore about the second one or, or let me just fetch the last one ignore the first one so just like that you have to specify to extract value which particular name you have to extract so let me just uh, I'm just gonna say let me fetch first student record so all I have to do is student and it's gonna work like this it's like a array in your normal programming only thing is it's it, it will index will start from one instead of zero so uh, when I run this one student of one it's gonna return from <coughs> and the same thing you have to do for all So it's like this you have specified fetch me first student record so that's very simple and in case if you want to fetch a second record you can just pass it like this yeah now you got the second record id is 124 and the value is sam which we changed here and one more cool thing is that uh, if you want you instead of hard coding this value you can just use something like last function it's still gonna work yeah it's very simple as that and if you want to fix the last before one you can just say last of minus one so yeah, the id is 123 not 124 it's because you're you're saying last but one record so these are all xml path tag uh, I know it's completely not related to this video you, you can check um, more cool XML path expressions outside so in this video I'm just going to stick to basic commands so this is how you use extract value and the thing is on the basic uh, backlog of this thing is that you can only return a single row suppose in case if you want to fetch all the records of the students uh, uh, it doesn't matter how many student records uh, and if you want to fetch all the records extract value it's gonna file because you cannot actually do such kind of things here so that's where XML table comes so XML table it's gonna return your uh, entire XML as a table format like row and column structures if so if you want row and column structure row and column structure you can use XML table and it's gonna return in table it, it's going to create a virtual table and it's going to return for you and extract value it's still good like for example when you are fetching a single customer record a, a single entity then you can strictly use extract value it's very simple it's nothing hardcore logic here so we are done with extract value and if you have any doubts uh, with extract value you can always uh, uh, ping in my uh, comment box and one more thing I want to explain so, uh, is that uh, suppose if you specify any wrong element which is not there in the XML file it's gonna return null value so uh, if you notice here it's return null that's because it, it's, it's trying to identify mock it's not there in the XML file so it's, it's just gonna return null it's not gonna throw error but it will throw null so that's it for the extract value and XML path attribute guys so let me just quickly go through XML table now, which is very cool thing. So most of the times you will be using XML table. So as I said before, it's gonna return in a, a table format. So your query should be something like this. So it's XML table. It's gonna create a virtual table for you, and it's gonna take three parameters. Uh, the first one is the row identifier. The first thing is row identifier so you have to specify XML table uh, which is your row identifier so if you specify student as your row identifier it's going to treat as wherever you see a student you create a separate row yeah, it's like it's as simple as that again it's a straightforward XML path so I'm just gonna give it like this yeah 
so now you are telling every student in this XML is a separate row for me and the second thing is you have to specify your source just like your uh, uh, XM extract value you have to specify what's the source of your XML and in this in, in this tutorial my source is as I said it's in my temp table so let me just quickly join with my temp and I'm gonna pass my source which is message and as I said before guys it's it's not gonna work if you try to pass uh, varchar or club you have to convert into XML file same thing like extract value and the third attribute is obviously you have to specify column identifier you have to say something like this columns and you have to specify what are all the columns you need so under each row I have three columns here so let me just quickly create all the three columns so first column name is ID and I'm just gonna create it as number and you have to specify the path so the cool thing is that these paths are related related to this path so you don't need to specify full path here you can just specify ID it's, it's gonna it's gonna work fine because as I said these paths are related to, to the root identifier and a comma there and if you if you have noticed it previously there is no comma separator for these values so there should not be comma separator and the second column is name it's like creating a new table you have to define what are all your columns and its data type name and the last and final column is marks sorry so it's very simple guys uh, now you have created a virtual table from an XML so this is your virtual table so this entire thing which I enclosed in it in identifier is actually a separate table for you and in this table you're gonna have how many rows you have how many student tags you have I have two rows here so it will hold two rows and each row will have three columns which is ID name and marks and their respect to data types and respect to sources from like XML let me just quickly create an alias for this table so I'm gonna name this table as students and I'm gonna fetch all the columns let me run this one so I think I have missed something here. Let me just quickly check what I have missed. My bad. I, I think I have mixed, missed with this uh, number here. So let me just run it again. Yeah, it's fine. So if you have noticed here, uh, now I have <coughs> three rows. So it actually featured, sorry, two rows. It actually featured two rows and uh, under that I have specified three columns it's, it's very straightforward guys it, if you have still any more doubts you can always contact me or you can just comment or comment in YouTube section and I'm gonna quickly come through another video thanks for viewing guys uh, don't forget to subscribe us